Hey there everybody, this is Vanessa DeBerlay and welcome to my channel. Have you started using TubeBuddy yet on your YouTube channel? If you haven't, I highly recommend it. I'm gonna show you three different features that TubeBuddy has. Actually, I'm gonna give you a bonus one too. But these features will help you grow your channel as well as stay organized. And help. one of the features even helps things go faster and I'll share that with you in just a moment. But let's go ahead and get started. Um, you wanna to go to your channel page. When you purchase TubeBuddy, you're gonna um, upload it like an extension. So right up here, you can see where I have the little uh, TB and there's a little drop down menu. That is, these are all the features that I can use on my pro account. The number one feature here, I'm just telling you about it, but I don't quite use it, but you can go in and find out if one of your videos are chi child friendly. So maybe if you're making videos that you're not sure, this here will help you decide whether it is or not. I don't use that because I, I I'm typically not really making a channel for kids, even though kids could watch, but it doesn't matter to me whether they watch it or not. This one is really important. It's called Keyword explore you've seen videos where um, people try to get you to sign up for a seo software where they'll help you i know a refs is out there some of them are over a couple hundred dollars a month and especially if you're a small channel that's a lot of money so i don't recommend that but this is one way you can do a keyword search so we're going to go ahead and launch the keyword search now and let's say i want to make a video about youtube tools so i'm going to type in youtube tools okay and let's see what happens this is going to give me a list of different keywords that I could use in a video that I'm making and it also tells me the search volume uh, competition is fair which is good optimization strength is excellent which is great now the search volume they say it's poor but you know there are people looking for that so that gives you an idea and then over here are some more most used tags in that uh, that area now one of the things you can do is take these tags and make a list and go back and reference them and then put them on your video let's try one more while we're here let's try TubeBuddy. Let's see what TubeBuddy brings up tube buddy review Okay, that one, uh, competition is fair, but again, the SEO strength is high. Uh, this is something that maybe a lot of people don't look up, probably because they don't know about TubeBuddy. But if I did something like SEO search for YouTube, let's see what comes up there. But do you see how you just keep on um, putting in the different phrases and then pick one? that has has the good <laughs> another one is poor i'm not doing too well am i and here's the analytics on that the competition is poor um, but the search volume is fair and the optimization strength is very high so there you go um, but that's what you're going to do and you can take action down here and you can copy all of those keywords to a clipboard and then paste them right into your video that you're uploading. So that's one feature. Another feature, we're gonna go back up here and hit the icon that says TubeBuddy. Now remember, I'm not going over everything. It does a lot more than what I'm showing you. But if you go over here in this quick link area and it says tag lists. Now remember, I just told you, you could go in and find those keywords. Where are you gonna put them? You can put them here in a tag list. And let's say you do a lot of videos about YouTube products and you could you could label it YouTube products and then all the tags that you find, you could list them here and then save the list. And then later, every time you go to do a video about YouTube products, you can at least have those few tags that would be similar. Uh, maybe you're doing something about social media schedulers there are certain keywords that you always want to bring up so you don't have to keep typing them in you can keep them here as a list that's pretty cool and then you can just grab them at any time this next one is really cool and i think i just learned about this one in fact and that's why i really wanted to share it but if you're starting to get a lot of comments, um, it's very important that you wanna keep up with them, but sometimes you feel like you're typing the same thing over and over. Well, you can make a list of canned responses, and I'm gonna show you how. The first thing you wanna do is go into your TubeBuddy dropdown and slide down here on the left, and it's going to say comment moderation. So it's gonna to go to the comments page right away.
on this page, I went over there. I had it open because I, my computer's slow. I want you to have to wait. But right here, here's somebody that made a comment and I want to give them a reply. But let's say it's a new subscriber and somebody says, hey, I just subscribed to your channel. Um, this person I've already answered before, but um, you could have something ready to say. So I hit this little tube buddy icon and it says new subscriber. That's what I labeled that comment. And when I open it, everything that I want to say to a new subscriber is here. And then I hit reply and it's there. Pretty cool, isn't it? So you could um, th say things as um, thank people for show coming to your channel. You could, if you have some questions that people keep asking, I know I get a lot of questions about social media schedulers for some reason <laughs> and Instagram. Um, so I, if I notice it's something that I keep getting asked or if I want to direct them to a link somewhere, I can go ahead and have something prepared ahead of time and just boom. Um, hit it. Now, let's say that you didn't have something. Okay. This one obviously wasn't a new person. What I would do is hit this little gear, open it up, and then it allows me to create a canned response. And what it does, it takes me right to my TubeBuddy account and I can add a canned response right there and give it a name. Um, I can make it just say, thank you. And then I can, um, type something in there and save it and then it'll be there for in the future. So let's go ahead and type it. Thank you for it my channel I didn't mean to take that long but and this is cool look at my um, dot com then you hit C and my name and they can go right to my channel I always want to ask people to subscribe obviously and there you go so I've saved it and now it's there listed with the other ones okay all righty all right, just so you can see that both of those headings are there. So you can put as many as you want in there and have them prepared. If you don't want to use them, you can delete them, revise them, whatever. Um, but it's a nice feature. It saves you some time and you don't have to type. And especially if you have somebody helping you reply to the comments, the comments are already there. They're written in your words so that um, it's easier for that person just to click and put them in. I hope you're enjoying this so far. TubeBuddy is an awesome tool and it does more, as you can see, than what I'm showing you today. But I want to give you one more feature before you go. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well. The TubeBuddy link is below. And I also have a playlist at the end of the video where I have uh, made videos on how to grow your channel using TubeBuddy. So there's more information there. I just don't like to make my videos too long because uh, I know your time is very valuable. Here's a bonus. How to do mass bulk editing okay so we're going to go back in and hit the icon and over here on the left it's all the way at the bottom nope next to the bottom comment that nope, we just did that one bulk processing so let's go ahead and hit that i've already got it up and ready to go once you it what's what it does it takes you right to your youtube um, video page and up here it says bulk media actions we're going to hit titles and descriptions you can also do it with thumbnails but i just picked this the action is up here look at the choices that you have you can just simply find a text so if there's maybe something um, that you put on some of your videos that you want to change maybe you were promoting hootsuite as an affiliate marketer and maybe you're not anymore so you want to find all of the videos that have the word Hootsuite on them so you can kind of go back and look at them and maybe decide if you want to change them um, another thing that you can do is find a word and replace it maybe there was something in your description that you changed maybe um, you know anything's possible um, maybe you just want to insert something after certain words you can insert before text remove and delete text add text to the end of your description um, have you started using hashtags maybe in your description you hadn't been doing that now you know how to do it you can go in and just add them in now and do it 
to everything. You want to insert text at the beginning of your description and then replace the entire description. You can do it all videos at one time. Actually, you can do 50 videos at a time. Um, but here you're going to find the text. So let's say we were looking for Hootsuite. I'm not going to do it, but um, and then right below that, it'll, it, oh, I wanted to replace. So you're going to have two boxes. What do you want to replace it with? Here's an example down here at the bottom. It says, find the text Spotify. Maybe you're not promoting Spotify as an affiliate marketer anymore, and you want to start um, pushing people to iTunes. You can find that saying Spotify with that link and replace it. And then this is what it'll look like after. So you're going to grow and change and edit things with your channel. So this is a way that you can very easily go back and change those hundreds of videos all at once or in chunks. I take that back in chunks. All right. Hopefully this was helpful. Hit the link below. TubeBuddy link is down there and I appreciate your time. See you in the next video.